Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. So good afternoon. It's actually around 210, 220-ish. I thought about vlogging today. I got up early to send Eileen to school. Didn't feel like it, didn't feel like myself. And I was feeling a bit discouraged. I went back to bed, got up around 10, 1030. Super late. I'm usually a morning person, but I wasn't feeling it. So I got up super late and I decided that I'm gonna get my life together. <laughs> I'm gonna get my day together. I'm gonna show up for myself. And yeah, I decided to change my day around and be a bit more productive. So I think that's what's important. Maybe the morning wasn't so productive because I slept in, but the afternoon has been pretty good. So I've showered, did my makeup, feeling much better. Wash the dishes, I need to put them up, and I'm gonna have my first meal of the day. So I'm gonna have plain Jane egg whites as my first meal because I didn't go grocery shopping over the weekend. I went to go see my parents. It was my mom's birthday and we celebrated her birthday. So I didn't make time to go grocery shopping or to do other things. But anyway, I'll have a grocery haul for you guys today. I also worked on my resume yesterday for hours. I thought about vlogging yesterday, but I decided to work on my resume and I worked on it for hours and hours. I did that because I wanted to make some changes. I really wanted to highlight certain points in my career that I thought needed to be highlighted, things that I didn't really include in my last resume. And I really wanted to include some things. I'll show that to you guys a little bit later. I thought the resume that I had before was okay. It got me my urgent care job, so I'm very happy about that. But I really needed to update it. We'll see what we get into today. I'm gonna make my first meal of the day because I'm starving. I had two coffees to get me going. So yeah, let's do that. And then we'll see what else we get into. All right, so I just finished making my turkey bacon and eggs. So a few things that helped me get going this morning that helped me get out of the funk or slump that I was in. There's a few things that I did. So the first thing is I got up and I got ready. I did my hair, my makeup, I showered. So I think that's important because you wanna feel more like yourself. You wanna feel put together. And yeah, so get cute, get handsome, spray some cologne on, get your hair looking good. So I think that's very helpful. Another thing is to watch an inspirational video. I decided to do that this morning while I washed dishes and that kind of helped me, you know, to get more uh, to get more motivated. So do something that makes you happy. Do something that you enjoy. Maybe read the Bible, read a book, listen to a podcast, uh, watch an inspirational video, YouTube video, do something that you enjoy and just get going. So I find that when I don't feel like working out, when I'm feeling unmotivated, I start with my five minute warm up. Once I'm done with that warm up, I'm more hyped up, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to work out, and I end up working out most of the time. So just get started. Maybe once you do that five minute warm up, or maybe once you walk for five minutes or, or do your strength training for five minutes, you'll find that you're more motivated and you'll actually finish the 30, 45 minute or workout. So I think it's important to get started and then a thing that I do to help me get more motivated when it comes to my workouts, I love watching Instagram posts, Instagram reels, and I have a few people that I follow on there. So I follow Carolyn Gervin. She's a big inspiration to me. I look up to her. I love everything about her, her personality, her strength. I think she's a strong woman. She's very creative, so I love watching her. I also like watching Chrissy Chella, and I think her name is Growing Anna. I love watching them because they live the lifestyle that I wanna live, a healthy, active lifestyle. They make healthier choices for themselves. They're always, you know, working out. So I love watching them because I think to myself, if they can do it, I can do it too. And it kind of encourages me to, you know, keep pushing towards my goals, to keep working towards my goals. So yeah, kind of follow people that live the lifestyle that you want to live and maybe that will encourage you or motivate you. So those are a few things that I do. Another thing is I got up and I started drinking lots of water right away because that helps me feel more active, more energized. It kind of gets me going. So I did that. And yeah, so I hope you find this helpful. 
I'm going to eat very quickly and then I'll catch up with you guys after that. Okay guys, so here is the first meal. I know it doesn't look very appetizing. It's missing the spinach, the bell pepper, all the good stuff, but it's okay. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys after that. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. I'm working on my resume now. Well, I worked on it yesterday, so I'm just going through it to make sure that I like the way that it looks. And I think I'm happy with it. I think it looks so much better than what it did. I chose a completely different template. I added some stuff and yeah, I added some important stuff that I wanted to add, made some changes. So hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Uh, maybe you're working on your own resume. I'm going to show you like what I changed, what I added. And yeah, hopefully it's helpful. Okay, so this is my old resume. This is the template that I chose. This one has an objective. As my objective, I put ambitious and self-driven RN seeking to expand and apply knowledge and critical thinking skills in the utilization management position. So for the urgent care, instead of putting utilization management position, I put medical field. And then I have my experience. So this is where I switch things up. As you can see, I have my experience here. This is my experience for the pediatric clinic. It looks very crowded. There's too much stuff on here. I think it's overwhelming. I don't like how it's in a paragraph. And then here I have my education and my skills and my activities. So here under skills, I put Texas Vaccines for Children Coordinator because I did have that role at the pediatric clinic. So I put it under skills. So let me show you guys my new resume. I love the way that it looks. So here is my new resume. 
As you can see, I chose a completely different template. Instead of adding an objective, I put this section here that kind of highlights uh, my experience with the pediatric population. And then I put some stuff that shows what I have to offer, that shows how I'm gonna help the company. So anyway, I put compassionate, goal-driven, and reliable registered nurse with over four years of experience in providing direct pediatric patient care ability to establish effective nurse-parent and nurse-child relationships, expertise in patient and family education, communication, and conflict management. So as you can see, I highlighted my experience and what I have to offer, how I'm going to help them. So I like this setup better, and I think the way that I um, noted it here is easy to kind of update. So if I Look for a position that's not pediatric related. I can just remove pediatric patient care. And then here I can change up nurse parent and nurse child relationships to something like relationship um, building, something more general. So instead of the paragraph, I added some bullet points. I think it looks much cleaner this way, easy to navigate. It looks much better. I added my urgent care experience, which is something that was not on my old resume. And I just put three bullet points on here, even though I had many other responsibilities because a lot of this is repetitive, right? You're a nurse, so you're gonna do a lot of the same things in every facility. So I kind of spread them out to where I have a wide range of skills and responsibilities for each uh, facility. And I kind of focused more on the pediatric section because this resume is geared towards a pediatric position. So if I end up applying to a non-pediatric position, then I will kind of change things around. But another thing that I did is under the pediatric section, I put LVN and I added Texas Vaccines for Children Coordinator because I did have two roles in the pediatric clinic. Not only was I the LVN working under the nurse practitioner, I was her primary LVN, but I was also the coordinator for the whole clinic. I thought it was important for me to add this on there because this shows that I have leadership skills and that I had more of a leadership position. I had more than one role, more than one responsibility, and I was able to handle that. So I thought that was important to add. And then I also kind of added um, responsibilities as a coordinator. So I put manage vaccine ordering, storage and handling. And then I really wanted to add trained staff on proper vaccine storage and handling practices. Because, you know, if they see that you train staff, they know that you have, you know, leadership skills. So I thought that was important to add. Here I have my school. I didn't add the LVN information because I don't have my LVN license anymore since I have, you know, my RN license. And I added the core strength section. This section was not on my old resume. So I added this and under core strengths, I put that I was bilingual. I think it's a very important thing to add because you can help patients that don't speak English, hence with different cultural backgrounds. I think that's very important because I do speak English and Spanish. So I added that. I added ability to work in a fast-paced environment, self-motivated, teamwork, strong work, work ethic, and of course my skills. And I also put my certifications down there and my references. I do have my um, BLS, so I added that. So anyway, this is how my new resume looks. I think it looks so much better. It makes much more sense. Everything is kind of organized. Okay, so those are the changes that I've made so far. Maybe I'll end up adding some more things or you know making updates, but that's what I have so far. I'm very happy with it. Um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. I just wanna have a resume, a good resume on hand to where if I see a position that I really like, that I really want to apply for, I'll have the position ready to go. And the good thing about my new resume is that I can kind of change things up here and there and gear it to the position that I want. 
So, you know, I can take out pediatric and just put uh, geriatric or, you know, I can change things up and it's easier for me to change things up because it's not as overwhelming. But anyway, that was a whole spill. I'm going to make something to eat and then after that, I'm going to go uh, grocery shopping. So I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so my shrimp is cooking. I'm trying to make like a shrimp stir fry, I guess. So I have this deluxe stir fry. I haven't made this before, I'm just winging it. I was craving some shrimp and veggies, so that's what I'm making. And I forgot to show you guys what I seasoned the shrimp with. I got carried away. So I added some paprika, or I seasoned the shrimp with paprika, some ground mustard, uh, ground cumin, onion powder, salt and pepper, of course, and some oregano leaves. So yeah, that is everything that I added. I put a little bit of the, I can't believe it's not butter, and then I'm gonna add some more stuff to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the veggies now, and then I'll add the rest of the stuff. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay guys, so my food is ready. I'm excited because I just did a little taste test and it tastes delicious and I am winging everything. I can't give you guys measurements or anything because I didn't measure anything. I cooked the shrimp in some, I can't believe it's not butter. I added the seasonings that I showed you guys earlier. And then of course I added the veggies. After that, I added a little bit of water. Again, I didn't measure anything. Just added a bit of water, maybe half a cup. And then I added some of this less sodium soy sauce, some honey trees imitation honey, and some sriracha. Not a whole bunch of sriracha, but just enough to give it a little bit of a of spice, I guess. And I'm gonna make a bowl, so I'm gonna add some jasmine rice. I wish I had the coconut jasmine rice because it's sweeter than this one but this is all I have, so I'm gonna add that to the bowl. And this is delicious, so I can't wait to eat. And it's the first time I make this, so I was craving like a stir fry. So yeah, that's why I'm making that. I don't eat this all the time. I rarely eat anything with soy sauce, but anyway, I was craving that. So I'm gonna make a bowl, and then I'll see you guys um, after that. Hey guys, so I'm back from Walmart. I did my grocery shopping wearing a different top because it's chilly out there. So the grand total for today, drum roll, it was 206 with 81 cents. So I expected it to be much more than that because we usually spend um, more money on groceries. I have to say that groceries is one of our biggest expenses. I would like to track how much money we spend on groceries per month. I wanna say I've looked at it before. I can't remember the exact amount, but it was a huge amount. If you feel comfortable, let me know how much you spend on groceries. That is one of our biggest expenses. Um, I don't really know what we can do to save money on groceries. Um, I don't think we buy anything crazy, but yeah. I'm happy with 206 because it's more than that usually. But let me show you guys what I got. So I got some ground turkey, some ground chicken, two packs of chicken breasts, and I actually got this last week. This is something new that I saw. It's some chile, chile rojo, and it's ready to use. So I thought this would be perfect for uh, chile con carne. So I got some flank steak and stew meat so I can make the chile con carne. I'm excited about that. And then I have some cauliflower. Uh, this one is the Parmesan peppercorn. I love these. If you're running low on time, you pop them in the air fryer for eight minutes, add it to your bowl, and they are so delicious. 
I got this one. So I usually get cauliflower and broccoli, but they were out of the broccoli one. I'm gonna have to go back later on this week, but I'm trying this one. This is green beans with charred onion and bacon. This sounds so good, I'm excited to try that. And then I got some more packs of the deluxe stir fry. I've really enjoyed uh, what I ate earlier, the shrimp stir fry, and that was delicious. So I'm gonna make some more of that. I got some bananas for my shakes, some more eggs, turkey bacon, some corn for my bowls, and my favorite creamer. I've tried different creamers. I always go back to this one. This one is my favorite. Some more soy milk for my shakes. And then I have some Bovita Spaya Non-Fat Greek Yogurt, some more yogurt here. This one is the cherry one. And I got this one for dessert today. This one is Shobani in the Strawberry Cheesecake Flavor. So if you know me, cheesecake is my favorite dessert. I don't usually get this one. I just saw it at Walmart. Uh, the only reason why I got it was because I wanted something sweet. And this will be my dessert tonight. I usually go for these because these are higher in protein. The Shivani only has eight grams uh, of protein per serving. This one has 15 and this one I think has 18. Yeah, this one has 18. So I usually go for these here. Uh, Eileen got this one. This is in the s'mores flavor. And then I got some pita crackers, some flavor packets, some blueberries, raspberries, more fruit. I got some mango and pineapple. And then I have uh, some rice. I usually get jasmine, basmati, and coconut jasmine rice. I like switching things up throughout the week. And then I have some bagels, some, um, well, a potato because I'm gonna add this to my chile con carne, some green onions, cilantro, avocado, some fresh broccoli, some lemons, and more yogurts. So that is everything that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna put this up and then I'll see you guys after that. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later. I put the groceries up. I had my dessert, so that cheesecake yogurt was delicious. If you haven't tried that one and you love cheesecake, give it a try. I'll be buying more of those to have in there for when I have a sweet tooth or I'm craving something sweet. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's pretty late now, so it's 9.48. I know it was a very random one, very last minute, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.